Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of dismal Dumbledore. I, I don't know what we're gonna. I don't know. Either. I don't know what we're gonna call this. Another uh, situation with Hogwarts Legacy. I think we talked about Silver Veil before. We did. Being harassed. I did. I did. Yes, I like, you did. I was very mad. I had to take two takes on that one. That's right. That's so, when you had to do the double take. I was so angry the first time that you said it was not probably wise to put that, that take up. YouTube doesn't like swearing, and there was a lot of swearing mm -hmm. in it. But uh, she swears, too. She's she's not real happy with the people that harassed her off her stream. Good. You stand uh, up to these bullies. That's what you have to do. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Iron Mouse, another VTuber standing up for Good. Silvervale. And uh, then we're gonna talk about how they're even coming for freaking Babish. Yeah, this one, this one I was so surprised by. Binging with Babish, you know, the, the food guy from YouTube with the tattoos, yeah, they're coming for him now too because one of his videos was sponsored by Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, I'm, um, we're not making this shit up. I yeah. mean, he does like, if you don't know who it is, it's a guy who does like recipes from cartoons or movies or whatever. He like makes up, he makes them in real life. Kids love them. They used to watch them all the time. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting. You know, if you look at the pattern for the comments, um, and I got to give a hat tip to Elite uh, Nectar here, Nexus twenty one twenty six. They all come in rapid fire succession. Like, well, so they have time to switch to their alt account. That's what I'm wondering. Like, look at these. These are all boom, boom, boom. Or, they're, or it's targeted. Like they plan it out on Discord and like they everybody, everybody Discord. go right now and let's yeah. go and you know. Yep, that's what I think. So they're they're basically uh, there are people keeping track of who is supporting or taking money from Hogwarts Legacy or streaming it. Uh, back channel, and I can't I can't say who, and I'm not gonna say who, but and I will respond to you, I haven't had a chance to yet, but we did have a writer from a pretty notable video game blog write and say that, yeah, there's some weirdness going on even on these apolitical blogs. They're actually forcing some of their writers who wanna cover Hogwarts Legacy to actually donate to activist causes so you have charities. To, what money you get you have to give away yeah so if you get paid you do a review of hogwarts legacy they're uh not so subtly telling you you have to donate that money you know so they're they're conscious but they were apolitical for, they're not yeah right yeah mm -hmm. apolitical so we're, we're going to talk about that i mean this look we called it before we said this is going to be gamergate 2.0 and it's absolutely positively shaping up to be like that if it winds up being the best selling game of the year which it very well may be um you know, if it winds up getting nominated for Game of the Year, which could happen, even though it got booed at the Game Awards, <laughs> you know, they talked about it. seriously booed? How about like five people? I, yeah, there were a couple of people booing it because they announced it as being one of the most anticipated games of the year. But um, all hell is going to break loose, guys, for sure. So let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 295,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We're trying to get the 300,000. Hit the subscribe button, please. Make sure you're still subscribed. And yeah, this is like our 19th Hogwarts Legacy video. Mm -hmm. We haven't even, I haven't even played the game yet. No, <laughs> but the drama just, around it is like. That's why we don't have time to play it because we're too busy dealing with this shit. Um, yeah, I did a video on the, the original issue with Silver Vera, which was that they were bullying her, I guess, apparently um, she was streaming on Twitch and she had like her level two, you know, uh, mod on. Mm -hmm. And I guess what that does is it filters out certain words, which I know for a fact when we do live streams or even comments on YouTube, it'll filter out certain comments. It happens. On, we've had people on YouTube and I don't, I mean, look, no offense guys, but I don't read all the comments. Sometimes I pop in and the first couple at the top, I might comment mm -hmm. to or something. But we've had people be like, you know, Clownfish is banning comments. And I'm like, no, uh, actually, the only the only time we've ever like banned anyone is if you're just absolutely batshit bonkers. Or you're attacking other people. Harassing people. We, we've had a couple of people. I'll tell you, there were some people that were getting into the comments and they were negatively commenting to every person in the comments. Same crap. Copy, paste. Boom, boom, boom. And in those cases, sometimes we've muted those people. Very, very, I can count on one hand the number of times and right. the number of years we've been doing it that's happened. It had to be really egregious. What happens is YouTube's filter is so aggressive now 
because they're afraid of making the advertisers angry that like anything that the AI or the bot or whatever things could potentially be problematic, they filter it out. And apparently that's what happened in this instance that I guess the word trans was filtered out. And so they were like going to Twitter and they were like saying all this stuff about her. And then they guess they were bullying her on stream and people were coming in and they were harassing and bullying her. Um, and it got so bad that she just like, you know, made a video and put it Twitter was like crying about it and everything else, which... You know, I get, I get the emotions because I was ready to cry, but it was because I was so angry. Um, I get the emotions. The problem is when these people think they can get to you, that they, they double down harder. Yeah. So this is the right take, which is basically, you know, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, um, let's play this clip. It's pretty short and I'm going to turn the audio on here. We are going to play a game and I will preface this that I do not condone uh, the ideals of this author, I just want to be a fucking wizard, and I want to play my wizard game that made my childhood worth living, and the adventures that I went on with my friends. And I want to be a fucking wizard. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And be we're a fucking enjoy wizard. This fucking game. That's right. That's what and you I do. Will not be bullied. Good. By a bunch of Twitter freaks with nothing better to do with their goddamn lives. Whoa. Be nice to people. If you want to make changes, go make actual changes. Yes, thank you. There you on go. The internet. LGBT people are awesome. Yeah. Twitter people are not awesome. Agreed. Fuck you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is if I made one of these videos. That would be what it would be like. <laughs> but yeah, like that's what you have to do. You have to be like, screw you. I'm just going to play a game. And, you know, be, you know, harassing people is not okay. Bullying people is not okay. If you want to make actual change, go out and make actual change. Don't just sit behind a keyboard, you know, so you're, you know, anonymous and going around causing shit. Go out there and do something about it. Don't just sit here. And by that, I mean something that's legal, not like you're going to go like, hurt somebody or something. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, we talked about Hassan Abi who... He was, you know, and he's a huge Twitch streamer and he was, he was going to stream it and give the money to charity. And he's like, because you guys are freaking crazy. He's like, just think of all the money that this charity missed out on because of you, mm -hmm. you know? And um, that's the thing. It's like where it, it, it's very selective. It's very weird how this whole thing is going down that it's just the game when it's like, you know, JK's money comes from so many other sources. Right, and they're not going after those. No. Just this, this one thing. Why aren't you picketing Lego? Now, don't pick a picket Lego, but like I'm just saying, like why aren't they staying outside Lego HQ and picketing that? Um, you know, are you supporting anything that Warner Brothers? Because well, that requires effort. You have to get out of your. You house. have to actually give up something that you want to do, like go to the Universal. You know, so they're not going to do that. Oh yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see the uh, the mental gymnastics that they they perform to justify going to Super Nintendo World, you know, because mm. some of that money is going to JK because Wizarding World's there too. I'm, I'm just saying because they got to give her money every year as part of the agreement. They're giving her money and Nintendo money. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Well, I could go because I just didn't buy Butterbeer. It doesn't matter. It didn't, doesn't matter. You went through the turnstile. They're giving her money. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what to tell you. So this is, um, this is Iron Mouse. Iron Mouse is standing up. Uh, Good. For her, stand up, people. Yep, Iron Mouse responds to the Silver Veil backlash. Uh, they're both VTubers under the V Shoujo banner. It's no surprise that Iron Mouse came to her friend's side. The Silver Veil became emotional about the backlash. Well, yeah, I'd be, I'd be, def I'd, I defended her. I don't even know her. I'm just like, this is bullshit. I won't stand by and watch people get bullied unfairly. I just won't do it. People are upset. I saw that. I think it's ridiculous. And it makes me sad, Iron Mouse said. Guys, listen, there's always going to be people out there that hate you and hate V Shoujo just because we're V Shoujo. There's lots of blind hatred going on out there, which is ridiculous. And it blows my mind. Of course, you know, people are going to argue on the other side and say, well, you know, this game is literally killing people. And they have. We did a video yesterday yes. talking about how it's it's basically an unforgivable curse to support this yeah. game in any way. It's, it's terrifying to me that those games just literally get up, walk out and just start stabbing people. I just can't. I just, you know. It is. It's like you as soon as you crack that case open. Someone like, dies. Like the, the green gas of the Death Eaters flies out and your, your trans grandma is dead. That's right. That's how that works. Sadly, I've seen it happen. Not. I mean, look, I get what the, I get the point. There's the, the the thing. You can get the point they're trying to make, 
But the point they're trying to make is one thing, and then what, how they make it is something completely different. Like, I'm sorry, you could argue this for pretty much anything, that if you support this, it's harming other people. There's lots of things in this world, and, and I think it's all shit. I'm not going to say I agree with it. However, I think sometimes things are getting blown out of proportion, too. Like, I don't necessarily think everything that, you know, Rowling has said has been, is, 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 is to the level they keep spinning it. I think she should stop tweeting because she says a lot of stupid stuff. I think I think what happened, this is my own personal, because we've kind of seen this, you know, go down in real time before Hogwarts Legacy, the whole thing with J.K. Rowling, right? And it sounds like she was trying to defend somebody else at first who got fired for saying gender is real, sex is real. Mm -hmm. And then went from that to she just started doubling, tripling down on it because she had the Twitter mob come after her. So actually, again, just like Hogwarts Legacy, how it sold more because of the activists trying to shut it down so hard. J.K. Rowling went harder in the paint because people tried to shut her up. She probably wouldn't have said anything else if they had just, like, left it alone. But no, no, they had to go show her and look what happened. Yeah. It's like a it's, really warped game of telephone. It, it is. And so now she's spent the last, like, three or four years, you know, fighting Twitter activists and uh, and all that. And now uh, she's still rich. She's getting richer by the day. Now she's going to threaten to sue. And, and, yeah. and, you know, people are starting, you know, facing... Real world consequences for the stuff they're saying. Um, that's what you have to be careful about. But you should never go around and bully people because they played a stupid game you didn't like. I mean, to the place where you, you make them cry. They they so was it um who's the other streamer? Uh, is it Pick me. Pick me. Yeah. Did, did she ever come back? I don't know. I this is this is just, just ridiculous. And and the right the right response is to be like fuck you. I'm gonna be a wizard. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Asmund Gold actually weighed in on the situation with her and said that uh, Twitter, this is the way feral animals behave. Yes. It is. They're, they're, look, we are very familiar with the Twitter cancel culture mobs. And I think what happened was a lot of people didn't see it because it didn't affect them. Because it, you know, up until recently, it was like, okay, just kind of fringe, like anime stuff will get you canceled. If there's certain, certain voice actors that you give the benefit of the doubt to, which you're not allowed to, you get, they come after you. Uh, certain comic book creators, you give the benefit of the doubt to, they come after you. If you have certain opinions about certain cartoon shows, especially, they come after you. But that's always been kind of fringe. But now we're getting into Harry freaking Potter, which is very, very mainstream. And now people that were never involved in, in this cancel culture stuff before are getting a, a taste of what it actually is and how god awful it actually is and how ridiculous it is and how easy it is to really shut these people down because they don't have a lot of power. They basically bully and intimidate companies into firing people. Um, they bully and intimidate uh, conventions into not bringing people in. They try to destroy people's lives. And it really is just a bunch of keyboard warriors mm -hmm. that, that need to be told no. By more I people. think some people just do it because they, 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 they get some kind of adrenaline rush, dopamine hit yeah. from, you know, hurting other people. And some of them might not even believe in the cause, but they just jump on it to go, oh, we're going to, it's like, it's, it's a flipping mob. It's the pitchforks and torches. I got my torch and pitchfork in the closet. Here I come. Yeah. And it's, look, we know there are groups on, on Discord that, that, that's what they do is coordinate attacks. They've done it with comic book people. They've done it with anime people. They they have discords that are against certain YouTubers they don't like. They've tried this shit on me when it came to She-Ra especially, and it didn't work very well for them. So it was funny when other people got attacked. Everybody came running to get me because when I come, they scatter. <laughs> they do. They're like, they get geeky, get geeky quick. And then when I show up, they're like, they go, you know? But I don't, I don't think there are as many of them as people. They, they like to give the appearance that there are many of them, but it really is – statistically a handful of people with a bunch of old accounts mm -hmm. and some of them just happen to be influential uh, you know again looking at like the gamer the editor-in-chief of the gamer is one of these people um that thinks that you know this game needs to be shut down at any cost and it's like well you can't objectively be the editor of a video game website if if your personal bias is we have to shut this game you, down you because say, i don't like it you can't be objective anymore because we have we have wired Having yeah. a sex toy reviewer, coffee reviewer, do a video game review of Hogwarts Legacy where she was just basically like, well, it's it, it, it's mid-range at best one out of ten because, you know, politics. Yeah. yeah. And then they like, you know, double down on it. And it's, I'm sorry, but that doesn't make – that your credibility shot to shit now. I mean, I would respect somebody who had opinions and says, well, if I'm going to be fair, I rated this based on gameplay. But let me tell you why I'm upset about the game. I would have more respect for that. Well, again, the one good thing to come out of this is that now the normies 
are finally seeing what so many of us have already gone through. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're an internet personality or you've got, you know, opinions that aren't popular with a certain group of people, now the rest of the world is finally seeing what we've been saying. And now they're probably going to go back and start reevaluating some of these hit pieces that were done against, you know, comic book creators and stuff like that. Like, was this... Was this real or was this, uh, you know, a whipped up controversy by a bunch of activists like the people that, that did the Harry Potter bullshit? Right. Oh, we have to know? sit back and let them get themselves canceled because they're starting to attack people who didn't even – weren't even involved in any of this stuff. And they're going to immediately go the other way. Yeah. So let's talk about Babbitt. Like, yes. This like one, I just all, like, what the hell? Like of all the people to attack. And I know that Hogwarts, they actually were sponsoring something because that's – was their marketing, I guess, is they didn't go the gaming mags like they normally would. Well, that was probably smart of them. They actually went to YouTube and they spent money on YouTubers. I, I think, I can't remember. I thought somebody reached out and offered us a demo copy of it, but I didn't know if it was legit because it didn't come from Warners. So it's kind of like, eh, I don't know, whatever. Um, you know, anyway, Babish took the money and I'm sure Babish, given his audience, he has 10 million followers, mm -hmm. got paid very, very well. And he did a full English breakfast video sponsored by Hogwarts Legacy. So, like, you watch his video, and right here's, you know, he's got the little teaser trailer baked right in, and then he goes, and it's not very long. It's, like, like 30 seconds, and then it just goes right into his cooking video, right? Yeah. And it's business as usual, and uh, it's got, how many views does this have? Uh, over 400,000 views in a day. So it only happened since, like, yesterday? Yeah. And, uh, again, hat tip to Nexus2126, who... Clip some of these comments. Now they're coming after Babish. Now I went through and I don't know if they deleted comments or they just got pushed to the very bottom of the pile, but I didn't see a lot of like, you know, you need to go burn Babish, but yeah, disgusting. But based on the way you treat your employees, it's clear you have no care for the well being of others. Delete this too, coward. Well, says how does, JK how does with the trans flag. How does he supposedly treat his employees? I don't know. Man, come on. And again, they're a like minute apart, two minutes, two minutes. Please don't support that game. That's because that's just when it got put on like Resetera or Reddit or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or the discords, which we know exist. Right. Um, and I've actually had people come to me and say, hey, here's some screen caps from some of these discords. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, so it's I mean, this doesn't surprise me at all. But, but the uh, video is still up. The video is still up. And I think at some point, I think YouTube will probably intervene and just be like, look, guys, you know, because Twitch, I mean, they tried to, to get Twitch to shut Hogwarts Legacy down completely. And that's why they're so pissed, because they thought they could get this game canceled. They thought the vocal minority thought they could get this game canceled completely. And it went the other way. Mm -hmm. And they actually made themselves uh, more enemies. There's the, and, and the unfortunate side effect of this now, is anybody that has any legit concerns about uh, trans rights or activism or whatever are probably going to be dismissed because they're going to be like, oh, you're like those Harry Potter crazies. Yeah, pretty much. Shut up. I'm not listening yeah, to anything that's, you that's have to say. Gonna happen. I mean, it's, yeah. it's going to be different from Gamergate the first time because now it's, I think the public opinion is going to go along with. Yeah. Yep. So, so you're not going to get by with this bullshit narrative. It's going to be like people are like, oh, no, I was my kid was playing this game and people were coming into the they were my, he has like five subscribers and he was doing a Twitch stream. And there was like, you know, 50 people coming in and harassing him. So I'm like, what do you do? Like, you know, I bought my kid this game at Walmart. And we're walking out of the store and some activists just like tackled him to the ground, yeah, start right? bunching him on the way out of the store. And then they're going about, oh, it's literally killing people as these people go and tell people to kill themselves yes. and are trying to drive people to kill yes. themselves. And it's like, this is ridiculous. I mean, I've seen the same behavior over cartoon ships. I've seen the same behavior over cartoon art. You didn't color it as dark as I thought you should color this character. So you need to kill yourself. I'm like, would you just fucking shut up? I think I think the normies now are going to get involved and they're going to tell these people to fucking shut people up. People starting to call their moms and be like, "What the hell's wrong with your little shit?" And mom probably doesn't talk to them anymore. Well, I don't know. Like, like, no, most house. are probably like you know, 13, 14 years old. Yeah, no, I, I I think that's true. I think a lot of these people, um, you know, now in some cases I know some of the people are actually trans. It actually does affect them, but I've seen a lot of these people that are quote unquote allies, and a lot of them I would better underage and they're just being warped by Twitter and social media and they want to be part of a group like you said they would get on these discords or whatever and they want to be part of the group they got a cause they can rally around let's you know it's not even about being an ally it's about going in there and telling people to kill themselves yeah because it's fun or saying vile shit uh, that's what I'd be mad about I'd be like you're allowed to support your trans friends that's fine with yeah, me but you yeah. don't get to go tell other people to kill themselves and bully them 
I thought that's what the alt right was doing with the gamer gates. That's oh, what no, the journalists it, it, said. You know, it, it's never the truth, but it, you know, it never applies to them. They can do whatever the hell they want and call everybody else names and accuse everybody else of what they're doing. It's called projection, and that's what they do ninety percent of the time. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Probably more Hogwarts Legacy videos. Thank you so much for the money, uh, activists. The more. And if you want us to stop, stop, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, see you later. Bye.